beginning. Amama Babaji arrived at the headquarters of the Democratic Alliance TDA in Naguru, accompanied by his lawyer Severino Twinovsinje. <laughs> He was welcomed by committee chairpersons Asman Basaliro and Waswa Birigwa and immediately ushered into a closed door meeting with TDA officials. <laughs> a few minutes later, FDC's presidential flag bearer Dr. Kiza Vesije arrived and joined the meeting which lasted about one hour and a half. <laughs> After the meeting, Babazi revealed that he had come to meet the alliance officials and pick the TDA presidential nomination forms. Um, my representatives had picked the forms and they had filled them. But there were a few things we discussed in this interaction was had which uh, require me those forms uh, differently. So I'm going to do so and I'll be back later on. Today? When? Today, today, yes, late, later on today. Yeah, today. The Democratic Alliance has today refuted claims of bending its rules and regulations to favor one individual, the former Prime Minister, Amama Mbabazi. The presidential aspirant is also leaving the Democratic Alliance in suspense. He was not able to make it in time. So, in our uh, a good thinking, we, we thought we should extend it because, I mean, everybody saw it, what was happening in Jinja and we felt that it would be best to extend it today. He also said that his meeting with Besija at the TDA headquarters was not pre-planned. Dr. Chiza Besija is my old friend and there are very many issues we discuss. Uh, all right, thank you. Babazi also railed against the police for manhandling him and preventing him to consult with his supporters in Jinja. Did you, did you capture them firing at my car with, uh, with uh, tear gas uh, canisters? Up to now, my breast smells tear gas. So. Maybe you're going to call me Mr. Tiagas. The other candidates competing for the TDA presidential flag bearer position are FDC's Dr. Kiza Vesije, DP Party President Nobat Mao, and former Vice President Professor Gilbert Bukenya. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition.